Hello everyone, welcome to a new video, a new plenty video. It is me, Desiree, and if you can't tell from this little guy trying to steal my thunder, uh, I'm going to be sharing some new allocations with you. I got four new ones and I just want to share what I've added to my collection. Um, I did a video not too long ago, it was called I'm Alocasia Crazy, and I shared with you all of the ones that I have, how I take care of them, why I love them, all that kind of stuff. And in that video, I was bragging about never having pests on them because everyone always says they're like spider mite attractors. And I was like, I don't know what everyone's doing, but I've never had a spider mite on my plants. And no sooner than I said that, the, the spider mites heard me and they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna get you real good because I had an outbreak of spider mites on all of my alocasias. I cleaned all of them. They all seem like they're okay now, but this was one of them that did have, um, have alocasias. This is one that did have spider mites. This is an alocasia stingray. Look how cool this one is. I just watered it so it's in its little tray thing here. Um, this one is really, really cool. Look how awesome these leaves are. So they look like a little stingray. They even grow this little tail here. And I think this is just one of the weirdest and coolest plants that I've ever had. I have tried this before. Um, I don't remember if it was last year or earlier this year. I did have this. I didn't know anything about alocasias at the time. I had no idea the light requirements or, you know, you kind of pick things up as you have a plant and it dies and you realize, oh, I shouldn't have put that in that dark corner. And that's what I did with this. I had it right here on a little table and that, it'll get ambient light, but not what this plant needs. And I swear, within about 10 days, the whole plant was dead, like it was gone. Uh, so I always wanted to get another one and I found this at the grocery store where I found the one before. And I wanna say this was less than $10. This is just a really, really cool one. I mean, look at it, it's so cool. I love it. Uh, did get spider mites. I just sprayed the heck out of it with Jack's Dead Bug Brew. It's like a, a bug spray. I don't know, a lot of people use it. That's why I went and got it. And it works really, really well. It does have like a sterile smell to it. So the plant smells like a hospital. Uh, it's kind of weird, but this one is really cool. I just had to show you I added it back into my collection and it's doing really well. I got it a few weeks ago. So far, so good. All right, let me grab the next one. My neighbor's out there talking to her dog. Dog Susie. Okay, this one here, um, I found at the grocery store too, at Smith's, and I saw it and I was like, I have to have it, I have to have it. Um, it was labeled as Purple Majesty, but when I looked up Purple Majesty, that's not what came up, so I honestly don't know what this one is. The Purple Majesty looked a little more severe, like this piece here had a cutout, and it was just like really too pointy, like tips here. And this one is a little more rounded. It has a, t a tiny little dip here. So I don't know what this one's called, even though it was labeled Purple Majesty. I, I don't know. I just don't think that that's what this is. Unless those were like super mature ones that were pictured and this is a little more of a juvenile one. But if you know, let me know. It's just this really beautiful dark green leaf with this really nice light veining. And then the back of the leaves you can see here. The back of the leaves are purple. I think it's so so beautiful, so gorgeous. Uh, this is a new leaf here, so it's still kind of hardening off. This one here has some spots on it. I don't know if that's just cosmetic damage or if it has something that is going on. But either way, added this one in and I think it's so beautiful. I've had this one for probably just a couple of weeks now. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what it's called because a lot of the time, like when you use an app or just try to search it on Google, it'll kind of say it's all kinds of different things. So if you know what this one is, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I mean, look at that. So, so pretty. This one didn't get spider mites yet, but he's in there mingling with all his alocasia friends on the table. So I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Anyway, the next one is this little cutie. I've never heard of this one. It was labeled as Alocasia Ivory Coast. And I just got this um, maybe a week ago at my local nursery here called Osuna. And I think this one is so beautiful. It's got those light pink stems, kind of like the pink dragon does. And then the leaves are really pretty. I mean, same kind of general shape a lot of alocasias have, but the leaves have like this white veining on them. Let me find a new leaf so you can see it a little better. 
like this here. It has like a white vein. I think it's just so cool. I do need to clean these leaves. Uh, you know, I just got it, so it's kind of just chilling on the table till I find a spot for it. But I love this white vein, this really pretty, like light creamy green color. I think it's just really, really cool. So of course I agonized over which one to get, which is the best and biggest one, and this is the one I went with. And so far so good. I mean, look how cool that is. I think it's really cool. Uh, this one didn't get spider mites at all because it wasn't even near any other ones. But now I know to keep an eye on them. I'm not a unicorn like I thought I was. I'm gonna get spider mites like everyone else. Uh, but yeah, love this one. It's new to me. I also never heard of it, so happy to have it. And then the last one I want to show you is a doozy. A doozy. Let me show you. So this plant is pretty big. Um, it is on a little table, so it's not taller than me when it's flat on the floor. But right on the floor, the plant is as tall as my head, and I'm only 5'1". So this is a 5 foot tall alocasia stingray, and these leaves are humongous. I found this at Home Depot. My cousin actually texted me and she was like, I saw this plant and thought of you and I was already out like out and about. So I went over there right away and she was still there. Like I went right away and I had to have it. I mean, look how big these leaves are. Look how big this leaf is. It's humongous. Like this one's a new leaf here. It's so, so big. Um, I love this thing so much. I have it in the corner over there on, on a little table. So it's, it's a little taller, but when it's flat on the ground, it's at least five foot tall gorgeous gorgeous plant I can't believe I have this I can't believe it it's like my little prized baby um one tip with these though if you find one at Home Depot check it thoroughly because every single one of these had spider mites every single one so I checked every single leaf um, I picked one anyway even though it's it, this did have spider mites when I bought it I took it outside right away hosed it down sprayed every single crevice of this stuff with Jack's dead bug brew really massaged it into the leaves um, so it's okay right now but just a heads up check your plants before you buy them especially if it's one this big because these every single one had spider mites but look I don't even care look at that leaf there was one that had a leaf that was from my shoulder to the tip of my fingers but that one was like infested with spider mites this one just had like a touch of them but that one I wanted but it was that would have been too much trouble to have but anyway this is another one this is the last one I'm adding into my alocasia crazy collection and it's huge love it and that's it I think I put the camera back crooked it's fine it's just the outro that is it those are the four alocasias I've added to my collection a little baby stingray and then the big monster mama one over there this one here that I'm not sure what it's called but it was labeled purple majesty and then, of course, my new one here called Ivory Coast. I just love that name, Ivory Coast. It's so nice. But that is it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any of these allocations. And, of course, let's all share our care tips in the comment section down below because everyone takes care of them differently. Like, I thought I was immune to pests, but apparently I'm not. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another planty video. Goodbye.